Hi everyone, today's recipe, I am making a homemade ranch dressing that is going to be much healthier for you than what you can buy in the store. Have you had a look at the ingredient list of your you know, major ranch dressing uh, brand out there? Look at this, have a look at this and see what you think. Now, if you just start making this from scratch yourself, you're gonna be loads ahead of that recipe. And I'm gonna take it even to the next level by showing you, you know, just a couple of items, basically the mayonnaise, which one you might wanna consider using, and just your ingredients on, say, your sour cream or your Greek yogurt, depending on what you want to use. This recipe is very customizable. You can change it up. You can use different you know, ingredients, different amounts, and you can just get it just the way you like it. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. You're gonna love this recipe because it is quick and easy to put together, and once you taste it, you're never gonna buy that you know, bottled stuff again. I'm pretty darn sure about that. Okay, so let's go over the ingredients. First up, now when I went to the store, I didn't have any choice, but I bought just what they had in their buttermilk. So no choices there, so I took it. All right, next up though, I did have a choice on the sour cream. So check out the ingredients on Daisy Sour Cream. It's not organic, but I really like the fact that there's just one ingredient in that. So check out your ingredients on that. Now here's the one where you can have the biggest impact, and that's with your mayonnaise. I'm using Primal Kitchen avocado mayonnaise because, let's face it, avocados are good for you. I know it's more expensive, but it is so worth it, I think. Check out the ingredients on this. This is super clean, super good. The alternative is, you know, your major brand, which has soybean and or canola oil, which is, you know, certainly inflammatory and not good for us to be eating. So I encourage you to try this. This particular brand, there's others out there, this one uh, has the best flavor. It tastes more like traditional mayo than some of the others. I know Costco sells one, and that one, I just don't care for the flavor. So I stick with this one. We have garlic powder, onion powder. I'm using dried dill, Worcestershire sauce, which really gives it a nice flavor. Some fresh organic lemon. We're gonna add a little lemon juice to this. Salt and pepper fresh parsley and fresh chives. I like to use the fresh on those two herbs just because I think it just adds to the flavor. So to start off our recipe, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up my parsley and chives right off the bat and have that ready to go. Remember this recipe is so, you know, customizable that you can add as much or as little or leave things out, add new things in, do whatever you like. This is a base for you that I think is excellent and I think you're gonna enjoy it. So basically we're gonna place all of our ingredients in the bowl. First is our mayo. Next is our sour cream. Now I'm only making half a batch today because I have some already in the fridge and I didn't want a full batch, but you can easily double this recipe. And of course you can get all the ingredients below the video in the description area. Click where it says show more. And of course you can use a Greek yogurt if you want to for that sour cream, but these are all pretty much equal amounts. I'm using quarter cup of each, that's our buttermilk. This is our Worcestershire sauce. Garlic powder. Here's our dill. Onion powder. A pinch of salt. And a little cracked pepper. Here's our chives and our parsley. And then I got a little bit of lemon juice going in here. Take a whisk and blend. Now I have a secret ingredient here that I sometimes add that I think some of you may really like, and that is chipotle pepper uh, powder that I can add to this. And I do sometimes if I want a little heat. You may not want it with the kids, but with adults, I think they definitely will like it. Now this makes a fair amount, as you can see, and this was half a batch. So you can certainly uh, double this and triple it or whatever you need to do to serve whoever you're serving. All right, like I said, this has got to go in the fridge for at least four hours. While we're waiting for that ranch dressing to chill up in the fridge, it's time for our chef joke, right? This is an easy one, pretty corny, but here we go. What day do eggs hate the most? Friday. All right, next week will be a little more challenging. 
I'm gonna pour the dressing into two small mason jars that you see right here. I'm gonna add some chipotle chili pepper to one of them. And then you just stir it in. So our ranch dressing is delicious. You can use it on, on just an unlimited number of items and dinner ideas. My son puts it on his pizza or dips it in his pizza. Of course, you can put it in your salad and it's just, it's delicious. Love the creaminess of this. The flavors come through and of course, like I said, they develop as you let it sit in the refrigerator, especially overnight would be perfect. And you can use it as, you know, some healthy snacks for your kids or your family. Di you know, for a dipping sauce with celery and carrots and tomatoes and cucumbers, whatever you have, whatever you like, bro broccoli. So it really is very versatile. You can use it for dipping anything else you can possibly think of. Put it on your burger. So it's all great. Hey, would you like to see another salad dressing recipe? Well, I've got one for you that you might want to try out. It's been very popular. I'll leave a link for you right over here. It is my balsamic vinaigrette. Check it out, make it, and let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you and share the video. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.